pain a child experiences from poverty lingers. The hunger, the hopelessness, the lack of possibilities. For 18 years, Nelly Chiboy lived with her three siblings and her mother in a shack with a dirt floor and a tin roof. Every time it rained, it would come through. And even though Nelly's mother could barely read, she made education a priority. And Nelly got a full scholarship to a college in Illinois. She worked during the week in a cafeteria and on the weekends as a janitor and sent all her money back home to her family. It was there where she fell in love with computer science. She became an engineer and found her calling. In 2018, she launched TechLit Africa. She refurbishes discarded computers and open schools based labs across rural Kenya. To date, she has reached 6,000 students and 15 teachers and works with 15 schools and counting. The pain caused by poverty is still there, but it drives Nanny, whose work inspires so many children to manifest a limitless future and possibilities. I can't even describe just how dehumanizing poverty is. You're just getting crushed over and over again. My mom, she really believed in educating us, even though her herself could barely read and write. We grew up in a tin roof house, which was full of portholes. I used to look at the different light bouncing from the holes on the roof, and then just imagine what it would look like to sustainably fix poverty. I needed to do something. I discovered computer science my junior year of college in America. I just fell in love with it. I just knew this is what I wanted to do. To deliver my promise that I made to my mom that I'm gonna take care of her and also bring it to my community. Most of these computers are ending up in landfills. All of you are gonna be graphic designers today. Well, we have kids here, myself included back in the day, who don't even know what a computer is. We refurbish them, we install our own custom operating system. But then there's also vectors. It doesn't matter how much you zoom, it's still perfect, it's still aligned. We have a saying here at Techler Africa, the kid is a VIP in this computer lab. Nice, there you go. We really are trying to like, change that culture and really hope that it can transcend the whole school. They can go from doing a remote class with NASA to music production, video production, coding, personal branding and so on. You come here, you select this one instead. The world is your oyster when you are educated. I want to be a lecturer, earn my, a living, so that I can build my mom a house and myself a house. Oh wow, impressive stuff here. My hope is that when the first Tech kids graduate high school, their families and themselves will not need aid because they can make money online. That money will support their families, that money will support themselves. The thing that was really frustrating me growing up, not seeing change, not seeing hope, not even seeing progress. I feel like with these kids, I can see a path, and that is really like why we're doing this work. My life is bigger than myself. If I have the power to change anything, I have to do it. I have to give it my all and keep doing it. It's my honor. It's my honor to present CNN hero Nelly Shaboy. There's just something about Anderson Cooper saying Mogocho that just gets me crying. <laughs> My mom is here. <laughs> I'll never forget the pain of poverty that still runs deep in my community. People dying of treatable diseases, parents sinking deeper into poverty just to educate their kids, and the lack of upward mobility for the most hardworking people in our communities. The hope that our work can empower people, give them skills to find a decent job, and fix poverty for good. 
is the mountain I'm devoted to moving. <laughs>